Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I am doing the festive Christmas tag. This tag was originally created by Girl Reading, and I will link her video down below. I was tagged by Ashley Stormo, and I will also link her channel down below, and thank you Ashley. Question number one, is a fictional family you would like to spend Christmas dinner with? And for this one, I am going with The Dashwoods from Sads and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I love Pride and Prejudice, but honestly, Christmas dinner with the Bennett family sounds incredibly stressful. I would love to be friends with her. Eleanor, and I think Marianne, even though she can be a little bit annoying sometimes, I think her enthusiasm and personality would make a Christmas setting really fun and enjoyable. Question number two is a bookish item you would like to receive as a gift. And for this one, I'm going with one of those like staircase step ladders that you find in really big fancy libraries like the one that Belle slides around on in Beauty and the Beast. That is my dream library. I want to have so many books I have to climb to reach them. Number three is a fictional character you think would make a perfect Christmas elf. For this one I'm going with Cress from the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I think she would just make an amazing Christmas elf and gift giver because she's so enthusiastic and thoughtful and she would know exactly what to get everyone even if they hadn't said anything about it and I just think she would make it so fun and enjoyable for everyone. And she would kill it at the online shopping game. Question number four is match a book to its perfect Christmas song. And for this one I'm going with The Blue Castle by Ella Montgomery and the song I chose for this book is Silent Night because the book and the song are both sort of a little bittersweet, you know, they sound very melancholy, but when you finish them, you feel comforted. This novel is about a girl named Valency Sterling who finds out that she has a disease that is going to kill her very soon, and it's the best thing to ever happen to her because it inspires her to stand up to her family and to start going after what she wants. And I think the title of Silent Night is also very appropriate because there's a lot of beautiful nature descriptions and just quiet moments in this book. And number five is Bah Humbug, a book or fictional character you've been disappointed in and should be put on the naughty list. So I'm going with a character and it's a recent read for me and that is Leah from The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Now I have hope that Leah will improve in the future books but Oh my gosh, for almost 400 pages she was just unbearably selfish and naive. And the thing that really bugged me about her is that she would make these decisions that she knew affected thousands of people, and then she was surprised when there were consequences. And that's why I think she's going on the naughty list, because Leah, you just... you just can't do that, girl. <laughs> you just can't ruin people's lives and then be surprised when it happens. Question number six is a book or fictional character you think deserves more love and appreciation and deserves to be put on the nice list. And for this one, I am going with Vivenna from Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This book is very well known and well loved and I love it too, but I feel like Vivenna is not given enough credit sometimes or she's not very popular. I feel like a lot of people love her sister, um, is her name Siri? They love her sister, but they're like, oh, like, Vivenna, she grew on me near the end, but she's not nearly as cool as Siri. And I actually really loved Vivenna pretty much for the entire novel. Because yes, she starts out a little more unlikable, but her journey and growth as a character is so well done, and I'm so proud of her, you know, for everything she goes through and for how strong she is, and just the things that she learns about herself and the world, I think, make her a really amazing main character that I think should get more credit. Question number seven is Red, Gold, and Green, a book cover that has a wonderful Christmassy feel to it. So I don't actually, I don't know if I have any actual Christmas books, but the cover that I'm going with as the closest thing is Hunted by Megan Spooner, because we've got some sort of silver gold reflectiveness and a green cloak, and this whole book is just very winter appropriate. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling that sticks pretty close to the original story, which I think ironically makes it sort of unique among Beauty and the Beast retellings, but I love this book. It's one of my favorites of the year, I think, and it's one of the best retellings I've ever read. The language is beautiful. Yeva, or Yeva as our main character, is fantastic. I just really, really love this book, and I highly recommend it at this or any time of year. And finally, question number eight is a book or series you love so much you want everyone to find it under their Christmas tree this year so they can read it and love it too. There's a lot of good answers for this, like Harry Potter is, you know, hard to beat, but I think I'm actually going to go with Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones, because it has recently come to my attention that a lot of people don't know that the Miyazaki movie is actually based on this book. 
they're very different and I enjoy the movie a lot too but I actually read the book first and it's just such a perfect kind of comfort food read. It plays a lot with fantasy tropes. It's a really funny book and it just finishing it makes you kind of feel warm and fuzzy because it's just that kind of book. And I think if you haven't read Howl's Moving Castle yet, get pick it up and give it a shot because it's so much fun and it has some surprisingly heartfelt moments too. Okay everybody, so that was the festive Christmas tag. Thank you so much Ashley for tagging me and I am going to tag Sung from Pages and Prose. And please correct me if I mispronounced your name. Also, I would like to tag anybody who sees this and who wants to do it to kind of get into the Christmas spirit and talk about some books you've read in a Christmassy kind of context. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon with another one and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!